everybody welcome to an eventing vlog that's starting a little bit differently can you see what's in the background over there guys there is a course of show jumps <laughs> so basically Berrywood this weekend an event I've never been to but it looks very nice I've literally just turned up and it's currently Friday I'm competing on Saturday and Sunday we're taking the ponies separately because they are getting so naughty traveling together and I just, I can't afford to take them to the event, like one event on the same day anymore because they just muck around. It literally makes it pointless going and they need to knuckle down before areas. So Jam is doing the 90 tomorrow. Dee Dee is doing the 100 on Sunday, but we've got early times tomorrow and literally they're so close together like boom 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 they're really like just whew, like really close together which is great because it's going to be hot heat wave in the uk this weekend yeah. um so i've had to drive over this evening to walk the course so i'm going to quickly run around that show jumping course actually because it looks oh my god people are walking it and that looks like 90 so i'm going to quickly run around there and i thought i'd bring you guys along show what the course is like like i said i've never been here before so it's gonna be exciting, yay! Eventing vlogs! All right, let's go see some shoulder. All right, all right, all right. That's my Matthew McConaughey, is that his name? His impression. So, shoe jumping. Looks so lovely and also like the most luscious green coverage of grass I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I was a bit worried about the ground because it's suddenly gotten El Scorchio in the UK. But this was lovely and like such nice grass cover. Um, so let me find fence number one. I'll show you guys. There's other people walking the course and they think I look weird. I think I look weird too, but here we are. We move. show jumping all walked looks absolutely lovely i've come out to the cross country course it's quite a trek down luckily you can drive down but tomorrow there's gonna be lots of walking sorry hobbs um so yeah just walking the 90 today i'm not allowed to walk two courses in one day anymore after that time that i casually missed out a fence on bear when i tried to walk two courses at the same time i mean I don't know, this from looking at it now, it looks like they kind of all go, you know, like all the fences are together, although I know the hundreds do go off to an extra loop. Anyway, just do the 90 and then I'll walk the 100 tomorrow. So let's go check out this course. It looks absolutely lovely and I'm really pleased with the ground. Literally just then, I could tell between walking, like that's the bit I was walking on wasn't where horses go and I just walked across the course there. And you could tell as soon as you stepped on the course, it was a lot softer. They've obviously aerated it, which is amazing. Highly appreciate that. So here we go. Start box. Let's have a little looky. There you are, guys. The course map and the times and the speeds and everything. But you can see. So where was I just now for show jumping? There. All the way down here. For cross country and then dressage, yeah. It's quite a way, but let's get going. Woo! Okay, I know I've literally just said how I'm just walking the 90 because I'm not allowed to walk the 100. But how cool is this for Dee Dee tomorrow? Look, up this mound and then through this infrastructure. How cool is that? I think that's quite cool. I'm excited to do that. Um, but if you want to see Dee Dee's course walk, stay tuned for the next eventing vlog where you'll see all of that. And I will continue with the 90 today. Thank you. 
Okay, so just water number six, which is over there, the Tracana, and <laughs> my first worry for this course is this. <laughs> so as you can see, great big solar panels there. I mean, fantastic. Who doesn't love a bit of renewable uh, energy? Geographer over here, absolutely loving a solar panel. However, we do have a jump right here. I mean, at least we get to have a little canter along here, but can you imagine Bear? Bear would freak out. Um, but if I spin you around, look, like it is quite, it's quite kind of narrow. But I'm just hoping, ah, hoping Jam's not too spooky. Should be all right. Anyway, number seven for you guys. Okay, so that tratter there, you know I said at the start of the course how it's, they've aerated it. He's going around and doing that again the day before the event, which is so good, like taking so much pride in their ground. Basically they like stab loads of holes in the ground and it just kind of, I don't know science behind it, of course I don't. I guess it just loosens it up and any like water that does fall, like any rainfall, can then get like deeper, makes it softer. Mm, science with Meg. Always a, always a blast, isn't it? You never learn anything. But I do try, and that's the main thing. Okay, crossing a little track here. On to number nine. conscious of this because it's actually quite narrow um, and also you're like jumping back towards the solar panels so yeah you come from like down that track and then it shoots off to the side It'd be very easy to keep going along there or for them to want to keep going along there so yes just going to be mindful of number 11 I think number 18 there all done really really lovely course actually um, yeah a few challenging bits like that number 11 is just I don't know I think it's just like it's a good question um, because it'd be very easy to kind of run past it um, really nicely dressed lots of bright fences my kind of like biggest concerns are towards the end of the course like the water is really nice it's just quite a steep ramp down so I just want to make sure I give her loads of time for that and then you go on to the corner which Jam's just not seen loads of um, and then the ditch to like the blue kind of pheasant feedery thing um, yeah it's just quite it's like an old-fashioned style ditch you know and they're painted really really dark and I'm just remembering when I took Jam cross country schooling last time and she did that enormous jump over all the ditches. So I just need to give her loads of time and sit so, so tight um, because we've got to do that other jump two strides after. <laughs> um, but no, all in all, really, really lovely course, very happy. So I'm going to whiz home now. I've got loads to do. I've got to ride Jam, I've got to bath her, pack the lorry. <laughs> I've just got loads to do. So I don't know if I'll vlog it or not. Maybe I'll do a couple of highlights, um, but yeah, I'll either see you later. We'll see you in the morning. Wish me luck. Except when you see this, it'll already happen. But still, wish me luck. Good morning, everybody. My sincerest apologies. I did not come back on and vlog yesterday. It was so, like, there was just so much to do. I had to get back, ride Jammy, bath her, clean my tack, pack the lorry. 
So I just didn't have the time, did I, girls? Hello, good morning. How are you? You've got your little dry rug on. All nice and dry and look quite clean. That's good. Morning, Teddington. How are you? Hello. Little Dee Dee. You're off tomorrow, darling. Yeah? You're off eventing tomorrow. She's like, ugh, don't speak to me then. Also, little disclaimer, didn't wash my hair last night because I just thought by 11 o'clock this morning, it's going to be so greasy. So just enjoy. Just catching your reflection in my greasy locks. I'm gonna tie it up in a second and then probably put a cap on so you guys aren't subjected to looking at it. Anyway, Bam Bam, should we plait you up? Cool. <laughs> Jam with a tripod. Uh, not at the minute. Good girl, good girl. You tripod pony. all done. Jam's gotten nervous. There's a surprise. Right Bam Bam. Put your tail bandage on. Can they load you up? She's like no please. You actually brush her. Have we got a brush? I don't know. Oh Bam Bam. Good girl. Well done, oh, sweetheart. Well done, darling. Right, let's get going. Oh, Good girl. Hey, let's go. Hook into Daphne. Look, Hobbit tidied it up yesterday. It looks lovely. Yeah, like the Queen could stay here. Oh. Swept the floor. Yeah, Washed got the floor. that. The floor out. I could smell that yeah. in the aromas. Again, we don't actually need the wipers today. Right. Um, right, I'm gonna double check. I've got my back protector. Morning, peeps. Good morning. The UK is about to go through a heat wave, but it's still a bit chilly in the early morning. So, Boiling. got myself a little blanket poncho on. <laughs> of it, just in a, in a t-shirt. There, the different body temperatures <laughs> for different people, I guess. Oh, I thought that was deer, but it wasn't. It was a bit of a tractor. Right. Easy oh. to speak that. <laughs> well, the amount of times I see a tractor and think it's a deer. Um, off to Berry Wood. You guys have already seen the course. You've got a little heads up over Hobbit because she's not seen it yet. We've already been there. Um, in the 90 today with Jamma Lama Bam. Keep things crossed for a safe and confident skimming run. It is our last run this weekend before Chillington Hall. 
in two weeks time which is the qualifier for badminton. I hate to say this but I feel we're very unprepared. We just haven't been out. We've had one, one run that we? I just love it when she just <laughs> she just decides to give my my confidence a little boost. Just no, whoop, today, lift it up a little bit. Today. Terribly unprepared. <laughs> That's what today's about. <laughs> Someone has just gone from feeling a little bit nervous to a-okay. <laughs> feel really good now. Good. Here we go. Uh, uh, it's fine, isn't it? Today's a prep run and it's a really nice course with a few questions. So I think it's actually quite a good run because Chillington is going to be a championship course. We have been informed. So I'm quite pleased that this one's got a few little like it's not not horrible like it's nice enough to give jam confidence but also like there are a few questions just to test us a little bit highlight our weaknesses so it's hard to hope there aren't too many of those i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> you tell me mum you're the bearer of bad news this morning well i'm just thinking if there any are other things too many, to tell me am i adopted or something if there are too many we haven't got a long time to <laughs> not correct. not long to work on them no it's got two weeks i suppose yeah i mean yeah I don't, know. I don't know what to say to these lovely, lovely comments. Um, anyway, I was feeling all right for today. Less so now. You're fine. You'll be fine. And I hope we just have a wonderful day. Well, I think that's it. That's Is there all... anyone that we know going to be at Berrywood today? No. Comment down below if you're at Berrywood too. I've had oh, a few yes. people on Instagram say oh. they're coming. Lovely followers and subscribers often take little clips of video for me when I go eventing. Oh, yes. So I'm going to post my times on Instagram. Very much appreciate that and I'm sure you guys appreciate that because then you get to see extra little bits of me going cross country. Right. Got okay. quite a trek to go. Nice um, and windy. We'll see yep. you when we get there. See you in a bit, guys. We've made it. Mum's getting stressed. We've got all the boxes here we got some solar panels there we're all just here for a good time more solar panels Ooh. Oh, um, here. basically like the layout here is a little bit well i suppose because of all the solar panels there's like the parking as you can see here is like on the track and then oh that's the best parking oh, you need a trailer i've got a trailer oh. Yeah, so we've made the executive decision to park near the cross country. Oh, yeah. See what I have to put up with. She's like a toddler, <laughs> um, but it doesn't mean we're miles away from Chaux de Moon Dressage. But it was difficult. If, if we'd parked there, she'd have had traffic going past her all day. Mm. She wouldn't be able to relax and get her zen, where get her we, zen on. Where, over there we're parking. Turn Through right. the gate. I'll remember what you said. Turn right. Say turn right. That's left. Jams? Hey Jams? You excited? You excited? She's like, get me your. Let's see what we are. Good girl. Yummy. Oh, have a little look. Good girl. She says, I don't recognise this. Ross. Good girl. Okay, studs are all in. Toes are painted, looking lovely. Trick for today, because it's gonna be hot, normally I like to put baby oil on their little nosies to make them shiny and black, but today I'm going to put sun cream on because obviously baby oil would make it a little bit burny burny, whereas this will resist any burny burny. So I think we should do that on. last thing. I think you should get ready, don't you? So it's fresh on. And we better get to crack on because you've probably got a 10 minute walk to dress up. Right. Always here to just kill my vibe. Need to take her tail bandage off. Okay, ready to go. Ooh. Also, how lush is the number bib? Can you film the back quickly? It's got Gallop and Glory on it.
is um, to my left, galloping up and down the hedge line. Good old Jammy, she's not paying any attention, luckily. because it seems like so far away but it really is a long way away hard to tell how she's doing really and count with the massive distance oh she's gone into canter by the clip looking reasonably straight coming up there a little bit tense cut that corner, hard to tell from this distance. It's got a little bit tense. Those horses galloping along didn't really help the situation. <laughs> That's eventing. finished which is a good thing because my arm is aching no idea what that holds like because I can't really see it looks like Jamie's moving a bit good girl well hello I for that. oh my goodness oh no, I would I mean there were obviously mistakes we couldn't actually see what it's like because you're so far away trying to find yeah. the positive like her hole she wasn't square and I was like oh just nudge my left leg on because she just put her front left forward and then she went <laughs> with her quarters, I was like, oh, should have just left. The judge it. laughed. I was like, <laughs> remember the first one? Yeah, yeah mark, that one. mark the first one. Um, but no, she was just really sweet. She got a little bit like low and on the forehand, I think, but she was letting me put my leg and on. And I thought, so, thought that first hand of these two horses were galloping up. Right. And I thought that she just, I saw her sort of just get a little bit tense. Yeah, there was Better. one bit, yeah, like the downward <laughs> transition in the first hand. Yeah, she didn't want to come back. Yeah. But I um, think that's because they were hooning around. Good job you weren't right next to them. Yeah. Uh, Super. No, there were, yeah, three mistakes, but Jamie was really good. So yeah. hopefully we can iron those out in the next few weeks. Yes. Lots to work on, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> right, Jamie. Good girl. Go right. We'll run back to the lorry and uh, get ready for the next phase. Show jumping track on. Ready to rock and roll. Got the long walk back up the track first, though. Mm, I'm nervous to show you jumping. It's going to be good, Bam Bam. She says, yeah. Oh, you're so pretty. Good girl. Super duper.
Well done, Jamie. I think she touched number two, but I think that was clear. Well done. So, a clear round. Clear round. Yay. Well, that was brilliant. Was so good, bless her. We just slightly touched number two. I was just telling mum, she felt a little bit spooky. So I like wrapped my leg on a bit when I felt, felt her catch the filler. But then she didn't actually back off it. So I had a bit too much leg. We got a little bit close, but she managed to get up out of the way. And then yeah, she was just jumping fab. So, so pleased with her. Well done. Um, last one, I was really pleased with her because I got her a little bit close and I was like, Ooh! but it helps knocking that pole in the warm up, I think. So clear and Good. on to cross country. She's a little bit spooky today, so I'm a bit worried, but. I'm sure she'll be fine. She'll, she'll remember. Stride. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Don't right. take anything for granted. warm up. Not sure how many he's got. Good girl, well Jamie. Done. Well done, Jamie. Fantastic. Um, I'll run and catch up with Meg and we'll find out how she got on. How did you get on? Yay! Yeah, and I think nearly bang on the optimum time. Oh, fantastic. Oh, well done. Yeah, she was literally, I think that's like the best round I've had on her. She was insane. Like, oh. no fighting, kept coming back, all the long ones. She was like, yeah, I'm going. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> and how did she do in the water and the nasty ditch and the trochana? The ditch didn't even look at. Wow. didn't look at. Water, like she clocked it, but she, there was no way she wasn't going. She was just like, oh, well, let's see what I'm doing here, mummy. That's fantastic. Please. Brilliant. Well, they've very kindly provided fresh yeah. water here, so we're going to whip her saddle off and Give sponge her, her off down. quickly to get her oh, cool. So Catch you back in the lorry. That is why I didn't wash my hair, guys. <laughs> Gets so greasy, eventing. So, Jamie had a good hose down. They literally had a hose to spray them, which was so good straight after cross country, get her nice and cool. But we are now doing a little second wash yeah. off just because when the water sits on them for a bit, it gets like warms up. So then we like to, yeah, put a bit more on, try and get as cool as possible. And then she's got the sloppiest pure feed down there. It's just hiding. Just let her heart rate come down a bit before she eats anything. Good girl. Try and encourage you to have a drink. You used to be really good at drinking jam, but not so much. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Oh, she's pulled a shoe. <laughs> I thought I had a bit of a clink, but I have to walk back and... Oh, that's annoying. My stud's in that shoe. That is annoying, because she's got her reach boots on. She was galloping a lot. That's rather annoying. Okay, well, luckily I've got to walk the course for Dee Dee anyway, so maybe we'll come across it. <laughs> nice for you guys to find stuff out with, along with me, isn't it? Um, right, we'll get her sorted and then catch up in a little bit. Oh, I'll tell you my scores in a bit because I can't actually remember the dress I was just so stay tuned. Oh. That might really wind some people up seeing that. Mm. <laughs> if you don't like chewing and loud eaters, guys, <laughs> look away now. This is yummy, but I've, oh no, I've dropped some. Yeah. You silly little baby. You're so good. 
We've found some nice grass. Jam's like, oh, she's vlogging. Off we go. So, very pleased. Her dressage was 28.8, which in the section was like top, I want to say like top five-ish within the top five. Not actually worked that out, but like around that kind of mark. Um, and yeah, there were a couple of little mistakes, like the coming back to canter and the halt. So it's always good when you get a nice mark, but then there's like a couple more things you can work on. Just makes me happy. Um, and then obviously clear show jumping, clear cross country, one second inside the optimum time. Go Jammy. And she is currently lying in second place which is so exciting. There is someone that has done an amazing job doing 25 double clear inside the time. So they are leading the section. Um, there are four more dressages to go up. So four more people that could go ahead of her, but basically definitely getting a top 10 placing, which is insane. So super duper happy. So she's just gonna have a little bit more of a graze. Hi Jam, please don't take me out. And uh, then we're gonna go and get something to eat because Hobbit's whinging. What you can get to eat, ma'am? See what I mean? She won't even speak to me. What you can get to eat? Oh, bacon roll. Bacon roll, for everybody wondering. I know you're on the edge of your seats there, guys, weren't you? Yeah, lovely. Then I'm gonna put some sun cream on. I got my pale legs out. I'm gonna tan these bad boys up and walk the course. Good times. Jammy on the box. These pasty legs are getting a creaming. Hey? Yeah. Look at that. Stay safe, kids. Can't actually press stop record. Mummy, can you help me? So, little snack haul because the snacks have been pretty poor today. I had a banana and some popcorn on the way, which I just thought wasn't even worth showing you. Which I look so incredibly pale. I'm that is the sun just bouncing off me. I'm not quite that pale. Um, I have gone for a lovely chicken fillet bat. Mum has gone for egg and bacon bat. And then seemingly demanded that I also get to her some chips. To share. I'm hungry. It was a very early start. No She's breakfast. a hungry, hungry hobbit. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna nail this down. Watch a bit of show jumping. Walk that course. British summertime. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> blink, blink. Oh, I learned something the other day. Did you know that in like originally, cheersing was when you'd they'd pour a bit of each other's drink into each other's glasses to make sure they weren't poisoning each other. So they'd do that and then they'd clink. But we've sort of, you know pandemic we've decided yeah. to just do the clink but <laughs> I didn't realize that mm, fun fact for you guys listen. anyway ready uh, guys ready 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 listen that's listen really listen further. hang on 25.3 not yet not yet that's not me that's not me to win any section in second Megan Elphick with Jamelia 28.8 third Okay, that's it. Yay! Two, please. Second place. All right, all right, all right. I need to stop doing that. What's wrong with me? Um, just finished the hundred. Walking the hundred. My um, filming two vlogs now, and I'm getting confused. Um, so if you want to see the hundred course walk and how the hundred goes, that's going to be in a separate vlog. I'm going to try and get them out one after the other, maybe one day after the other, but if not, there'll be a day in between. But even more reason, guys, to tap that bell and hit subscribe so you actually see when my videos upload. Um, yeah, really, really pleased with the course. So just walking back to the lorry now and we'll get Jammy home. I don't know if you heard over the tannoy, but she was second. So pleased, but we'll have a full debrief in the lorry. On the way home. Sing that song. Mum's just been shouting at me because I didn't win. She's so like just really nothing's pleased. ever good enough. <laughs> She's just like you're useless. I can't believe how rubbish you are. People Sometimes, Mum's I wish that you weren't my daughter. <laughs> She well, said, that, yeah, that's true. She said, I wish Lucy was my daughter. Oh, I love Lucy. <laughs> no, I'm very happy. I'm very happy too. Mm. She was great, wasn't she? She was so good. Yeah, so 28.8 if we're getting specific. Dressage, 
like I said, a couple of, well, yeah, plenty more places to improve, actually. Um, the dress or sheet was really useful. There were lots of comments on there about, like, what to improve, which I always love because it makes, you know, it gives you things to work towards the next time. I'll tell you what we definitely need to work on is the halt. The halt was fairly shocking. Yeah. Um, that did drop her quite a few marks, which was a shame. And yeah just just like her suppleness and things like that really but all things that can be worked on she's got some eights in there which is really positive lovely clear show jumping she felt really really special show jumping um yeah and looked after me like helped me out if i got a deep so really pleased with that and then i think best clear to date i'm gonna say Wow. cross country because often cross country with jam I come back and there, there'll always been a little moment where I was like oh that was a bit excuse Bless me you. excuse me that, was a, that wasn't how you normally sneeze that is not how you sneeze <laughs> liar god she's so fake on camera can you lie about how you sneeze mum that you know that's not how you sneeze it's always that much. No, it's not. I can see the way your face was screwed up. That wasn't how you sneeze. Look, anyway, we were talking about cross country. Not um, sneezing. Yeah, often there'll be a, there'll be like a fence or two where Jam's not listening. We get a bit of a sketchy jump. But today, I don't want to brag, but like, oof, oof, mama. They no, were they were really don't good. Brag. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, mum. Um, no, really, really pleased. Like she was listening really nicely. I don't know, just very different to how she was at Ascot because she was a little bit just gung-ho at Ascot and she was really coming back to me, she was really thinking about all the questions. She just felt epic, like, I think after Chillington, touch wood if that goes well, I'll think about stepping her up a level, which would be very exciting. So, really, really pleased. She's finished in second place, which means she gets another Badmington qualifier for next year to qualify for the year after. So you better stick around, guys. Keep watching. Oh, big thank you to Martha Lily Photography for getting some little videos and sending me some pictures. Do make sure you head over to my Instagram. We'll pop it up somewhere um, to see those because I'm sure they will be absolutely delightful. Big thank you to Hobbit for taking me home because there was one point when she was shouting that she was threatening to kick me out on the side of the road so you are a drama queen oh dear but there will be a separate vlog for Dee Dee tomorrow I'm going to end it here but then say goodbye to you at the yard Shush. because I want you to say goodbye to Jammy and say well done to her okay guys so I'll see you in a minute just arrived home to <laughs> trouble oh she's mad back Clever. That's a different way of wearing it. Oh, and it's lovely because it smushes right against your eye. You're so silly. How you managed that? She hurt her eye doing that. No, she's fine. <laughs> silly girl. Do you want to come in? Yes. Oh, hello, Bam Bam. Home, sweet home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Bear. Nice of you to turn up. Hi, God, you're like a whale. Hello. Well done, girl. Good girl, Jam Jam. So bony. Well done. Oh, oh look, your little friends. <laughs> oh, I think Jam's pleased to be home. He's like, Jam's like second night. <laughs> oh, you're going tomorrow, you're doing the bigger jumpies. What have you got there, Meg? Delicious. Ooh. So, this is the ice clay from Cavalot, which was kindly sent to us. <laughs> yes, it's going on your leg. So, ideally, yeah. we put this on straight after eventing, but what to pack it in the lorry. So, I'm putting it on as soon as we get home. Good girl. Jamie says it's cold. Um, yeah, basically just to cool their legs down, let it like set, and then you cold hose it off. So, so we did spend time cold hosing her legs as soon as she'd finished. We did, and yeah. then cold sponge them. So you've had a pretty good 
pretty good cool down experience. Putting but this on as well. May as well do this as well and then yeah, cold hose it this evening probably. But it's nice and chilly. Anyway, so do all four legsies and then she's going to go out in the field for a little bit of a chill. God, he's very keen to go out. <laughs> on her legs there literally dragging you out bye then jammy well done <laughs> literally trotting off you won't be taking me to any more events today this is where my friends <laughs> well done oh, well at least she seems to be feeling well so that concludes this first <laughs> vlog from Berrywood. I've got clay all over my nice little hair scrunchie. Um, yeah, very, very pleased. Hopefully Jam will be sound and well tomorrow and then we work towards Chillington in two weeks for our badminton qualifiers. Cool. Um, <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and yeah, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, bye! bye guys.